The Internal Security Department has released a spy Dixon Yeo on a suspension direction after it found that he did not manage to obtain and pass on any classified information about Singapore to his foreign handlers. ISD has assessed that he is uh, no longer he, he no longer possesses a security threat that warrants detention. A suspension direction is a ministerial direction to suspend the detention. The Home Affairs Minister may revoke the suspension direction and the individual will be re-detained if he does not comply with any of the conditions stipulated. And that includes not being allowed to leave the country without approval. Yeo was arrested last December for acting as a paid agent of a foreign state. He was first recruited in 2015 and provided reports on issues of interest to his foreign handlers from 2016 to 2019. He also approached individuals in Singapore whom he thought would have privileged information and set up a front company to talent spot writers for his foreign handlers. Yeo had also tried unsuccessfully to land a job in sensitive government positions. A lot of activities vis-a-vis -vis cyber espionage, when you think about it, um, it comes from a similar playbook from what we study in terms of uh, how terrorists, for example, use the online platforms, how um, individuals involved in cyber espionage groom them, similar to how vis-a-vis -vis terrorist radicalization or online radicalization groom individuals into uh, becoming radicalized. ISD says while such attempts are not new, Yo's case shows that the threat has become more pronounced with the prevalence of social media, as it's now easier for foreign intelligence to recruit and groom potential agents. ISD urges Singaporeans to be vigilant when using social networking sites. Singapore passed new laws on foreign interference in October to clamp down on covert attempts like this.